I wanted to make this video short video because there's lots of coverage going on about Stargate. So I'm going to break this up into three different sections. What is Stargate? Some questions about Stargate and then opportunities that this offers to academia. So first of all, Stargate is sort of this big new project that is being covered you know, all over the place, talking about how uh, the, our new president, President Trump, has partnered up with all of these private companies to put together $100 billion towards AI, specifically towards data centers, and how this is some grand new big deal as far as moving AI forward. Well, the reality is that this, what this actually is, is a project, but it's an open AI project. That's why you don't see a bunch of different companies coming together. You see basically four companies coming together, and that is OpenAI, SoftBank, you see Oracle, and then you see some, there's another uh, agency, it's just an investment agency, uh, MGX. These companies came together because this is an open AI project. They've been actually been working on this for over a year, now, the big deal here is that by the president signing this as far as coming together with this group as far as the project is concerned, the big thing here is that this is going to put an exclamation point on it. So it's going to fast track the development of this. In order to have all of these data centers that this is going to fund for OpenAI, in order to do that, there's lots of regulations that have to go through as far as to get permits, to get additional infrastructure as far as energy is concerned, to even create new energy producing centers. In order to do all that, that takes a lot of work and that takes a lot of time. But because the president is involved, this is going to expedite that tremendously. So that's the big reason why the president is involved with this. Remember, the president only has four years because he can only serve one term because he already served one before. So he has four years to get as much done as possible for his legacy as well as to, to help the development of AI, which is a priority for his administration. So that's what's going on. So that's the reality of what this project is. Now, this is a big deal because this is $100, $100 billion dollars and it's actually going to be $500 billion that will be invested within the next four years. So this is a big deal, a big opportunity on many different levels. I'll get to that opportunities here in, in one second. But the next thing is questions. Questions as far as, well, what's this money really going to and why aren't there other companies involved? Well, the money is going towards data centers, meaning that this is where there's going to be lots of computers put together so that it can process all of the different requests coming in. That means all the different people using AI, whether it's individuals using ChatGPT or other people using API access, other companies using the system OpenAI. And that ties in with Microsoft and their Azure network, as well as uh, all different companies coming together, such as Oracle. Oracle is going to be part of this as well because there's so much that Microsoft won't be able to handle everything. So there's all of that. There's other companies that are involved with this on a secondary level, like NVIDIA and ARM, you know, for the chips involved, for the GPUs, all those things. So that's where it's coming together. That's where it's all going together. So that, that's one question. The other question would be, what about the other companies? What about uh, Claude? What about uh, Grok? Well, the thing is that those are different companies. Other projects are going on for that. Remember, I reported a while back that, hey, with Grok, yeah, that's, that's Elon Musk, that's, that's Twitter, now known as X. They have their own Colossus, which is another huge data center, largest in the world right now. And so they're already having their own projects and they're addressing it in their own, own, way, own way. So that's separate from this. This is a huge investment, but you can see how all these AI projects are going to get fast-tracked. Why? Because the, the administration, the president, wants this to happen. Why do they want it to happen? Because we want to maintain our lead in the United States as being the number one uh, AI leaders. And this is also in direct response to all the competition that's coming from China. That's where there's lots of investment, the government themselves investing very heavily to move AI and robotics. So now we're going to be doing the same thing. So that deals with the questions, right? Now opportunities and how this applies to academia. This is very important for academia and we need to realize that, hey, 
AI is being fast-tracked, AI is being focused. So yes, it is a major big deal that academia must also face and must also be part of. Remember, we're supposed to be the leaders. We're supposed to be the ones to help guide by doing the research, by being part of this movement going forward. So there are lots of opportunities for research, lots of opportunities to do things in conjunction with these companies that are moving forward. So we need to look for that. Now, yes, I, I do very much believe that there's going to be more funding, more grant opportunities that's going to be coming from the government because of this focus. Remember, we want to stay number one so that that's going to require investment. So there's going to be those research opportunities. There's also going to be, I'm sure, lots of, of other countries wanting to reach out to join with the United States to do some joint research. So those are other opportunities for us to be a part of in academia. So we definitely need to look out for that and, and, and push for that so that we can do even more. And then, of course, AI literacy, right? That's the, the, the baseline for all of this is that this is so important. We should see that this huge investment, that means that AI is definitely here and all students need to be a part of this. So they all need AI literacy in order to be able to succeed in a world where there's so much investment dealing with AI. So AI literacy for every single degree, for every single uh, aspect of academia, meaning that all instructors and all students need to develop this AI literacy. So we need to be part of that, developing it within ourselves so that we can develop it within our students. So that's what's going on with, with this big, huge new project that, that's probably all over the place. You see it in the news, Stargate. What it is is an open AI project, but it's one of many that are out there. This is just the largest one with half a trillion dollar overall investment within four years. So keep that in mind and understand that this is an important thing for us to move forward. And remember, learning is for